Hello everybody, it's me, Chai YD, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back once again playing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So we're here again the first one, because, um, you know, we haven't really completed it yet, so we've got to get past it first, and to start us off, we're playing one of my most least favourite levels. It's a level where you're running. Honestly, I hate all those in general, but... This is the only one I've played at the moment. Honestly, I could never complete the Crash Bandicoot game in my childhood because we didn't have a memory stick. And, oh no, here we go. Right, concentrate, Charlie. Crash, don't look. Just keep running. Just keep fucking running. Oh my god. Okay. Take a few deep breaths and stuff and just get these. Get this. And let's go. Right. Go. Go in. Go, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll start with the again. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's keep going. Come on. Try to jump too late or jump too early. Just trust me. There we go. And go. Don't jump too late. Because that's what we did last time. Oh. Oh my god. They put freaking fences there to put you off. No! Jesus Christ. They didn't get the one for free, but I didn't get the boxes. Right. Damn, that theme is really good though. Right, keep going again. Oh my god, they put small platforms there. I actually remember those as well. Just trying to put you off. Right, follow, follow the apples. Follow the apples! Oh my god! My thumb is literally coming off this controller, literally. I'm freaking holding down like crazy. And my thumb is almost going to come off a bit. <sighs> We completed that though. Jesus Christ, that was tense. Perfect. Look at that as well. Uh, <laughs> there's a squeaky car outside my house. What the hell? Man, that was that was tense though. Bloody hell. Honestly, I, I, <laughs> my heart was going 25 miles an hour. We've done it. Honestly, it's almost like watching the cube or some shit. Honestly, that's. Like Spyro Dragon, we all know is um, it's a hard game, but then again, it has got some relaxing things, and some of the things they aren't challenging, but they're hard to like look for and stuff because the game is so damn big. But in this, you know, there isn't much to look for, but there are like challenging things you'll get past, honestly. So Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot both have difference to each other, but however, they are like PlayStation's most popular games they've made in the past. It's that thing like drowning with water in its mouth, I don't know. Or it's a fish, so it shouldn't be drowning, but. <laughs> but it sounds like it is, which is so fucking stupid. <laughs> right. Yeah, those things sink, don't they? Oh, God. Alright, got the slippery log. And reach the checkpoint. So you can play as Coco Bandicoot in this game as well, but. Not really a fan of Coco, but you know, you can play this sometimes. Right, look at that. Okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's nuts. It's nuts, honestly. That is fucking crazy. Honestly, this is like a very hard game, honestly. It's challenging. But I'm bossing it so far, I'm doing well. The game does get harder though. So, we're only on the early levels and... All that. Right, let's get up. Let's get up. And reach the next checkpoint. Yeah, let's go to the bonus level. Bonus level. 
bonus tax. <laughs> Sorry, it's just some like meme that me and brother looked at while I was watching. Um, I don't know where it was, just some like animation with Luigi at the point of phrase and <laughs> some reason there was this bit of the same bonus duck and we just laughed our heads off at it. <laughs> oh. She, Cortex took her away again. How dare he? You see that flat headed bitch face, obviously. <laughs> flat headed bitch face. Oh. <laughs> Don't trick me, game. No! For some reason, I thought the Cortex was a good guy at first, but no, he is the manning. I just didn't know at first because I'm an idiot. But you missed three boxes! Oh, we were so close. My question is, where are those three boxes anyway? Because I'm sure I've explored everywhere and I've found as many boxes as I can, so... I'm not sure where the other ones would be, but... Yeah. Look at me. Oh, this is the boss stage, guys. Rub against Papu Papu. Yeah, who you want those bosses you try and be on um, crashing race as well? I think Ripper is on here as well. Look at that lazy ass. <laughs> Just sitting there. Get up, Nork. Oh shit! I thought he does that. You got to jump on him to make sure he's killed. Sometimes you don't know which way he's going to shoot, that's the thing. Not shoot, but like swing that thing around, I'm not sure which way he's going to do it. But I figured out which way he's doing it, and... Yeah. Yeah, this, this boss battle was easy. But the game does get harder, I'm telling you guys now. I think the bosses get harder as well. This one's just the first one, so, you know. It's the first boss battle in the game, so, you know. It starts off easy. <laughs> Just jump on him to get up there. <laughs> Hilarious. He's just laying there, dead. Rest in peace. More like rest in hell. Obviously, when you support a murderer, you get a punishment. What's this? Coco's time machine. Hmm. Not sure what that's about. Let me see. Do you want her to join your adventure? Ah, so that's how you can switch characters. So, if you swap hero, Zeon. Keep pressing the R button instead of Zeon. Yeah, we're actually Coco now, guys. We're actually playing as Coco. Never did before. Alright, so I think there's one level I got stuck on. I think. Um, well, you get stuck in him, and you know, I didn't get stuck in the game plays, but. You know, I've been stuck still. Yeah, this is the one, I think. I've been stuck still for ages. I've never passed it at all. Not even in my childhood, honestly. I've been stuck it for ages, but... I think today might be the victory where I do pass it. It might not be because I'm drunk, but... You never know. I could pass it in this video. Because so far, it's done very, very well. Right. That I got there. It's like a professor head. Or was that to call him Mr. Forehead? Yeah, that's the bit always gets me. The fucking wheel thing always fall off on. Let's see. Yeah, Coco's moves a bit weird. Right. Forehead, is that what call him? <laughs> Mr. Forehead, I don't know what I call him. Just, just... This game's chaotic. It's very freaking chaotic. Right, checkpoint. Right. No! Frick. This is freaking hard, guys, honestly. I'm gonna try and risk getting this one. 
Then we get that one. This way. Oh no. Right, checkpoint, there we go. I like the way the checkpoint just pops out, that's kind of funny. Right. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, calm down, calm down. Oh, okay. Sometimes I should go back into the wheel, that's what I'm worried about sometimes. Honestly. Okay, so I've got forehead, guys. I didn't mean to get it again, did I? Ugh! Okay. Yeah, it drops. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. That was nuts. That was nuts. But we're okay. No. Oh, my God. On the bonus level. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I just um, jump and twist. Try and do that. Yeah, can you do that? You can. Oh. Okay, do it on this do it, do it, do it on this level. Do it, do this bit. Right. How do you get past that? How on earth do you get past that? Right, I'm gonna try one more time, but if I, fall, if I fail again, then I'll give up. Unless I, you know, fall by accident when I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that won't count. But. Oh. Right. This bit. That's why I keep fucking up. This is where I keep fucking up. Because of this shit. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, isn't it? Bye! <laughs> honestly, you should be flat-headed bitch face, honestly. Well, we might pass this level, hopefully. Because we are doing pretty well. Last checkpoint was, but oh no, it's when he's dropping ones. Oh, another one. My goodness, this is gonna be a long game tonight. <laughs> what the frick is this? <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that one. I'll, I'll do it another time. Honestly, that is insane. Okay, we've passed it. That was crazy. <laughs> Using their laptop to freaking avoid us up getting by the boxes, and oh my god. We missed 24 boxes. I bet the laptop's like broken now, honestly. Like my laptop, my old laptop that broke as well, rest in peace. But I've got a new one and they actually a lot better. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, gameplay of me playing, this part of me playing Crash Bandicoot. I will be back again sometime, not sure when, but I will try and come back again soon. But for now, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and peace out and think of yourselves. Bye.